refuses <coughs> to uh, sign up for any of the, you know, Facebooks or LinkedIn. Who in the room? I'm one of them. Okay, I see four, I see five. Okay, there's five of us. Okay, so I want to tell you a personal story about how I ended up signing up, and I refuse to do this. My friends make fun of me. They're like, you're not on Facebook. What's wrong with you? Are you an idiot? Um, and uh, they constantly tell me they can't communicate with me because I'm not on Facebook. But uh, a while ago, about a year ago, I, I was looking to um, hire somebody really talented to run uh, the southern part of our U.S. for production print. And so I asked around, and someone I really respected said, you know, there's this guy, his name is Barry somewhere in Texas. I have no idea who he works for today, but, um, but he, if you could get him, he would be amazing. So there was my challenge. So I went to Google. 200 Barry Nickersons in the state of Texas on Google. That wasn't going to work. So, but then I found a Barry Nickerson um, from, um, on LinkedIn. I'm not a member of LinkedIn. And this Barry Nickerson, I was able to see just a few basic elements that said that he had experience in our industry. God, this is the one. So I had to join LinkedIn so that I could send him an email. And that's how it all started. Um, I did send him an email. A week later, he did respond to me. I did ultimately meet him in an airport and recruit him to come work for us. And he's uh, one of our very best and talented individuals. Today, I have 675 LinkedIn members that I'm connected with. So that's how it works. Um, but we have to embrace it and we have to understand how, how do we um, use it in our organizations to, to make our organizations more successful. So social media is the most cost effective way for any organization, whether you're government, uh, whether you're a university, um, whether you're kind of Minolta, it's the most effective way to advertise, to outreach, to citizens, uh, to patients, to customers, uh, to employees. So a couple of examples. Um, in healthcare, where I'm from, in Sarasota, Florida, there are three hospitals. So those three hospitals use social media to uh, advertise um, for free, if you will, now that they have, uh, have us connected to them. They advertise what their specialty is. So I know one hospital is specialty in um, orthopedics, and the other one is more uh, specialty for children. Uh, so that's one example of how uh, institutions are using it. Um, universities, for example. Uh, universities are able to approach LinkedIn. And I'm going to tell you some things that may surprise you today that you may not know. Um, but universities are able to approach uh, LinkedIn at the corporate level, and they're able to hone in to the geographical um, perfect base of prospects, right, of, of candidates for the university. Uh, they're able to hone in on 18 to 19-year-olds who um, have a particular interest potentially in uh, agriculture or whatever the specialty is at that university. Uh, the NITICS is something we were in Utah the other day, right? The NITICS or robotics. And then anyone who has um, inside of LinkedIn somehow either uh, organized to like, say robotics, they signed up to a group of robotics or what have you, now LinkedIn is able to sell access to those 18 to 19 year olds that somehow have robotics. And the university then advertises by way of posters uh, or um, campaigns or ads, uh, commercials that they actually post inside LinkedIn to those individuals. So we, we, have, we don't understand necessarily what goes on behind the scenes, uh, but it's quite powerful. So uh, direct mail. Direct mail, believe it or not, continues to be the most effective means of business outreach, of new business, business development, outreach, or communication, again, with citizens. Uh, direct mail combined with social media. The two combined have documented, proven, um, synergistic results. The two combined have greater results than, than any one, either direct mail by itself, uh, plus uh, social media by itself. So when you combine them, uh, the results are highly effective. Um, so, according to the Rec Marketing Association, highly personalized e-enabled mail accounts for the majority of digital print growth in the United States. So we'll talk about what we mean by e-enabled mail in a moment. Um, social media campaigns require mail to be sent along with them, uh, sent along with it. So. 
uh, to give you an example, you know, going back to the e-enabled mail, what that essentially is, is, is everyone heard of a Perl? Perl is a personalized URL. Uh, so if you ever get, we all get direct mail to our houses, and, and I always collect mine because I just love it all um, and share it with the field, but it'll, you know, you'll get something and it'll say, um, you know, we have a coupon for landscaping services or dental work, most of the dental work, right? $50 off. Uh, come visit our website. Uh, come visit our unique website, and it's www.sacramentodental.com uh, slash Barbara Stainbrook. That's her personalized URL. Now, that freaks a lot of people out, like me. Like, I'm not going to type that in there. I don't want my name. I'm not going to type my name into the website. So something else that was that came out is the QR code. The Q QR code. So imagine how long it would take me if I get this direct mail in the mail and I see my name, I might be attracted to go to that website. But that's going to take me time. If I'm not scared, it's going to take me time to type that all in. But the QR code is fast because now I just take my iPhone and I scan it. The other thing is me not being very bright would think, or being normal, being a normal person, I don't realize that that QR code is variable. It can be most likely is variable just to me. So once I scan it on this direct mail piece, they know who I am. So um, because it's personalized, but now I've done it, it's the same thing as the as the pearl. It's just faster and uh, and a little bit more just a little bit more um, hidden, if you will. So what happens when the uh, person or myself goes into SacramentoDental.com or I do my I use my QR code. Now, Sacramento Dental knows I'm a prospect. Hey, this girl is looking for them, right? So now they can start to advertise to me. They can start to advertise to me and uh, put me into a certain pocket of people that get different um, marketing campaigns moving forward. Okay, so, so let's take a closer look at targeted marketing. So, what this is all about um, with social media, this is you know posting uh, content to the web. Companies like Conoconolta, we're constantly going out to the web. We're, we're very heavy in social media. Um, most of your organizations probably are as well. But it's not about posting weather. So we, let's go back to my story earlier. And I said, uh, we went out and we bought uh, we're a university, and we bought all of the 18 to 19 year olds that are in a geographical area that have some interest in robotics. Now I've got that, that grouping, 